So in this video, I'm gonna be covering BlackBerry for trading day March 5th. This video is, gonna, video is gonna be extremely important whether you're trying to enter BlackBerry for the first time or if you're a long-term investor trying to average down. Quick disclaimer like always, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a professional. So everything I do share with you guys is just my opinion and it's not advice. So please do not buy or sell based off the, uh, what I show you or the opinions I do form. Um, please do your own due diligence and research before buying and selling. I do own shares in BlackBerry and I've been holding for six years. And if you've been a viewer on my channel before, you've noticed that there's an upward trend support line dating back since October 2020 and then multiple touch points throughout the whole entire time, December, January, November, and January as in 2021. Now we broke the logarithmic upward trend support line. If you wanna know what I'm talking about, definitely watch one of my videos, at least a week old or maybe a couple days old. And now we're rel relying on the algorithmic one, which I'm not a big fan of, but hopefully it holds through. And if you think that's what's gonna happen, and what, what I'm planning for is if we do hit it, we bounce up to the upside from it. The only thing is though, we could still go down to $9.11, $9.14 for it. If you wanna count for false breakout, you're looking at $9 or $8.99 at the utmost lowest. The reason why that's very important is because if you've seen my price target prediction videos or video for $108 per share and getting to it, um, I'm relying a pretty good amount on this upward trend support line to carry us through to $30 by September. That's the only problem. So if it does break, it will adjust that um, roadmap to $108 in terms of September, but we'll see what happens. Now the play is what's gonna happen for March 5th trading day. If we zoom into the month, um, I'm gonna go back to logarithmic by the way. We did break, break this downward trend uh, support line right here. You can see multiple touch points. Some of them accounts for like, there is false breakouts here and there. So the thing is, can we continue even though we had a false breakout? Yes, we can. Um, it looks like in terms of like uh, pre-market, it looks like it's trying to come back up. The problem is we have a downward trend resistance line that's keeping us down. So it's gonna be difficult. And then we have another one, even if we do pass it, get above back up to that support line, we could get knocked down by this downward trend resistance line that dates back since January 27th, right here, touch point, January 28th, touch point, and then a touch point right about here, two of them. It does line up, um, but uh, February 24th, 25th, right? So we have to pass that. Plus we're b uh, below both moving averages, short and long. MAC lines trying to cross over to a positive or trying to come back to up to a positive, but it might get knocked down. It is in the negative. So the question is like, what's what's gonna be in play fully? Well, like always, we do have support at the 963, 955, 950. This is more of a false breakout. The main support is 963 that we've hit technically twice in the recent few trading like month kind of time frame. But in the past, there's been support at 963. It's not just recent. Um, so, but if you want to count for false breakout, it's 955, 950. Hopefully, we don't go under that. Um, but again, we do have this in play, which is support at the 940. There is more support between these levels, but the major support is 940. Then we're looking at 930, and then, which is crazy. If you looked at my past videos, I had the next few days as not, I don't know how relevant that is. I'm just drawing a blank. I'm just looking at the text, but 930 is major support level as well. And then I hope we don't break, like I said, 911, 914, 915. But if we do, we're looking at these false breakout support, which is $9 and 899. And um, the significance, the like, this is gonna unfold, which is crazy, in the next few, like uh, March 11th, all the way up to March 11th trading day, I believe, for the most part, yeah, March 11th, I would say. Some major stuff might happen, but then you have the play of the, the Dow Jones, which could be going down so far for March 5th, unfortunately, so that could be affecting it, but then you have the stimulus checks coming out, being announced around roughly mid-March, end of March, plus you have the earnings coming out um, for BlackBerry by end of March, early of April. So we'll, we'll see what happens, a bunch of turn of events. Again, I'm extremely optimistic and bullish for BlackBerry overall for the long term. So I would say this is more for averaging down, which I, am, I myself, to be honest, I'm gonna be putting more positions into BlackBerry um, soon. As I was, by the way, I've entered in BlackBerry, believe it or not, at $8.50, I think, or not $8, $18.50 US um, recently, small position though. Um, $12.50 multiple times, small positions though. Actually, maybe not too many small, uh, one of them was a good chunk, the other one was a small position, 
or two of them were small positions. One was a good chunk, if I can remember correctly. So I'm still entering. Technically, I'm averaging up because my average is uh, is uh, higher than those prices or lower than those prices that I just mentioned. So uh, so yeah, so I'm I'm going to be entering more positions if it goes lower. And uh, but that's because I my this is just all my opinion by the way, not advice. It's just because I'm extremely optimistic and bullish on BlackBerry overall. And I will be releasing a major video in terms of the part two and part three in terms of why I expect BlackBerry one day will be going to $180 per share. If you haven't seen that part two, it'll be linked at the end of the video, or it's my first video on this channel, which is about a month and a week old, a month and two weeks old as my channel overall. Now, um, if you think it's gonna reverse to the upside though, the upside what we have covered is, uh, I don't know, it, there is a chance by the way. So these support and resistance, these act as support and resistance. So if you're above them, they act as support. If you're below them, they act as resistance. So we're gonna have issues at the 988, 983. Then we have issues at, yes, we'll have more issues on the upside too, by the way, but these are the major re resistance and support. So 988, 988, 983. Then you're looking at 995, 999 from what I've noticed in the past too, by the way. Th those like cents, before you get to the next level, like the ten dollar, like the clean dollars, those always cause issues. By the way, just to let you know. So nine ninety five, nine ninety nine, and then you have ten dollars, ten dollars and two cents, ten dollars and five cents, ten dollars and eleven cents, ten dollars and twelve cents. But then you're gonna have issues at the uh, ten right here. By the time the moving average gets to you, it's probably gonna be around ten sixteen, ten twenty. Let me see if I could get anything right. So ten. Uh, let me see. Probably ten or I don't know somewhere somewhere between ten dollars and twelve cents and ten dollars and twenty four cents between there because the the short moving average is pretty much gonna act as resistance and then the next level is ten twenty seven ten twenty seven ten thirty seven as you saw the other trading day ten thirty seven was exact um, resistance right there and then after that you get you get met that met by this downward trend resistance line which is the next level or actually no not before bef not before that so ten forty four 1054, 1053 to, to be exact. And then you're gonna be met by this downward trend resistance line, which is roughly around this price point, around the 1050. Then the moving average comes in too, which is major resistance at 1060, 1061, 1069. I don't think you guys are gonna, like we're, we're gonna pass it, because again, I'm investing in BlackBerry, but I don't think we're gonna pass it. If you were complete, completely optimistic, I don't think we're gonna to get to 1078, but I think we're gonna get knocked down by 1072, 1074, 1075 pretty much get knocked down by this because we have all this resistance coming in right off at the same conglomerate mix. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we do pass them, but I'm not that optimistic for today, unfortunately. Future, yes, we will, but not yet. But if you wanna know 1078, 1088, 1092. If we pass 1092, oof, that would be good because. So that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you did like it, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like. It helps out the channel. Thank you so much in advance. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. I'll try and answer them as soon as possible. And if you do like videos in terms of like this and stock market overall and um, passive income, mortgages, credit score, financial freedom, I highly encourage you to subscribe. It helps out the channel too at the same time. So thank you so much for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.